Oh man, so Apple's really gonna love this one. Check this out, guys. iPhone 10 on iOS 11.4 beta 4. It's gonna be crippled by one text message. As soon as you click it, boom, your messages app crashes and is broken indefinitely. We'll just keep crashing no matter if you restart it, force close it, whatever you do, watch this, go back into it, still crashed. So this is part of the black dot bug that was seen in Android. Now, originally this went viral in India where people were sending each other this message here in the WhatsApp application and it looks pretty innocent. So there's this little black dot there and it says, touch it. and basically your phone will freeze. So as soon as you do touch it, indeed your phone does freeze. Well, not the phone anyways, the WhatsApp application and uh, nothing happens. Basically you have to force close it and restart it and go on. Not so bad, right? Uh, but on iPhone, it's a different story. So I actually took this and I was experimenting with it on iPhone, seeing what it could do and if it affected it. And I noticed that if you sent it once, the phone would start getting slow. And then if you sent it again in a greater quantity, the phone completely locked up. As you can see, my messages application is still not working. It's just stuck on this white screen here and uh, there's no way to fix it. I mean, I could force close it out of here. If I restart the phone, it's the same way. And uh, yeah, it's just stuck. I mean, you see different things, but nothing ever really happens. So in this video, let's just go ahead and look at it. And I know what you're thinking, why would I share this? But it's really not so bad. I'll show you how to fix it. You can fix it in just a few seconds. It's just for the people that don't know, it's kind of scary because you can't use your messages application. It's just completely stuck. Um, but in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Apple will be fixing it very shortly here in iOS 11.4, so really no harm with this. And I personally have tested it on many devices. It works on the iPhone 10, on the iPhone 8, 7 series. The older the phone, the more affected it is and the more more it freezes and stuff like that, uh, but it's all fixable on all of them. It does work on iOS 11.4, beta 3 and beta 4, the latest versions, and iOS 11.3.1, 11.3, and 11.2.6. And then I tested it on iOS 10. It also works there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to do this. Okay, so this is how it works. And this is on a non-bugged device, so I just cleared it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send the first message. And this is the one you can receive from anywhere. You're gonna get it. Take a look at it, nothing unusual. So, um, okay, then you're gonna get to the devastating message and that's the one that's really gonna mess with your device. It actually takes a while to send. It takes forever to send from your phone, so I'm sending it on my Mac right now. But um, as soon as you get it, nothing unusual happens, but as soon as you click on it, boom, you've got a destroyed messages application. Now, to do this to somebody and not tell them how to fix it would be cruel, so I will include a fix for you right away, but it just crashes on you and it will continue to crash until you perform the fix. And uh, even though you may clear it out here in the app switcher, by the way, take a look at that, see it comes back briefly, but that doesn't mean you can you know, touch it and respond to it. You actually have to go and clear it out from the messages application. So if you go back into it, still nothing, it may show an image, but you aren't able to do anything with it. In fact, I'll do one even better. So I'll restart the phone here and uh, we'll see what happens then. So as soon as I restart, I'll be right back. Okay, phone is restarted. I'm gonna jump in and uh, messages app still blank, still white, unable to do anything. So that's quite unfortunate. Now, how do we fix this? In a moment here, I'll show you. Gotta wait for it to crash first. Okay, so it's not crashing, but uh, whoa, it's tweaking out my home screen even. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out of here. And then you wanna go and 3D touch on the messages application and click new message. It's that easy. And then it's working again. But until you do that, nothing will work. I mean, the messages app will not work. You wanna go and delete it right away. And that way you can continue to use the messages application. So kind of freaky. I mean, if you didn't know what was going on, you'd definitely think that the messages app was broken permanently. And even after a restart, that's the problem. It still doesn't work. So how can you do this from your iPhone? phone. It's pretty simple, although a lot slower. Okay, so down below in the description, I'll leave this link here. So you want to go ahead and click send this first message. That'll jump into your messages application with this guy here and uh, go ahead and select your victim. All right, and go ahead and send that off to them. So this guy will get it and uh, all right, and then you want to go ahead and select the second part. They have to receive that first message for this to be effective. And then you go ahead and select send the second message. And it does take quite some time to load just because there's a lot of characters. And I'll take this moment to explain why this happens. So the black dot has nothing to do with it. Originally when sending it, oh, and it crashed that one. So we have to retry it. But uh, originally when 
it was being sent through WhatsApp. They just included that there. So everybody's calling it the black dot bug now, and I'm just going with it. It's the text or the Unicode text, the invisible text that comes after it is what causes your phone to slow down or glitch. Basically, your phone is loading hundreds, thousands of characters that you cannot see in this text, and it just has way too much to load, overloads the CPU. The CPU actually goes to 75% to 100%, so your phone gets really, really hot once it's loading all of this. And there's a very good and detailed explanation as to why this happens. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check that out. But when weaponized, when you include a ton of them, they do affect the iPhone as well. So I'm really not sure how long it's gonna to take to load this, but I've been talking the whole time and nothing has appeared on my phone yet, but eventually you will get a pop-up with the text that you know, you'll know you be able to send soon here. I did it best off of my computer, you know, that's where it works the best. But if you wanna do it on your iPhone, just prepare to wait. And finally, it appears it takes quite some time as you can see and still have to wait for all of the characters to populate here. But once this does load eventually, go ahead and select your victim once again here and I will be sending it here very shortly. And yes, it may crash your messages application in the process, but again, it is very easy to remove as long as you know what to do, the 3D touch shortcut. So anyways, I'll be right back once uh, this finishes. And oh my gosh, that took way too long. Definitely not gonna be a problem because most people won't wanna sit here and wait for that to happen. In any case, I do have an iOS 11.2.6 device here, and I'll show you in a bit that this is working on the latest ones as well gonna go ahead and send that over. And it may not look like it, but it will send in the background. Your phone just locks up at this point. It's way, way, way too slow. And uh, wow, I just can't believe how much it affects it. It is burning up, you know, heating up completely. But uh, in a moment here, this phone shall receive the text and uh, it will basically be frozen up. The messages app won't work anymore. Okay, and like an hour later, I think it has finally sent from the original phone. Okay, not an hour, but that took quite some time. And this phone has frozen up, just goes to show you how evil and toxic this message is. So I should be receiving it here if I haven't already. And uh, it has pretty much frozen. So yeah, I'm in that state already. So just like that, my iPhone 8 Plus on 11.2.6 is affected. This one as well. And this is on iOS 11.4 beta 4. Just gonna show you guys latest beta right there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the messages app. We'll see if it has froze. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go ahead and reset itself over and over. So just like that, guys, that is how you do this. Be careful with it. If you do decide to prank anybody, just send them the solution right away. It can be frustrating dealing with this because most people don't know how to. It'll just keep recrashing on them. And uh, I would recommend you send it from a Mac if you have it set up. It's not as slow as on this one. I don't know why it takes so long, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. So Apple should be fixing this one shortly in iOS 11.4. Be careful with it. Peace.